Hey guys, just warning you, for this video you're going to have to bear with me because we're getting work done on our house. And I really want to get this video out today, but at the same time there's going to be some background noise. Alright, that's all. Video time. Hello everyone, I'm Imperny, and today Nintendo announced that June 15th we will be getting the Nintendo E3 2021 Direct. With all that's happened since the last E3, it feels like a breath of fresh air, along with the added hype of Nintendo announcing a Direct two weeks in advance. Who knows what this company has planned for the future. But today, I'm not just talking about the Direct, I'm also talking about the rumored Nintendo Switch Pro. Before we continue, please consider pressing that like and subscribe button, because it would really help me out. There's that background noise I just told you about. But now, back to the video. For months upon months, different news outlets and social media sites have reported on a Nintendo Switch Pro or a Super Nintendo Switch, or a new Nintendo Switch being announced as soon as tomorrow, June 3rd. A console that is planned to be able to keep up with Nintendo's competitors, that can output as much power as the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X or S, all of which I don't have yet. This console, repeatedly reported by Bloomberg News, is rumored to have a 7-inch display screen compared to the current 6.2-inch, a better graphics chip with DLS technology to output 4K resolution at a good frame rate, and an OLED display to both save battery for the console and be even brighter and more colorful. But that's really all we know about it. We don't have a release date or anything, but uh, a guy can wait. Back in March, the Switch turned 4 years old, which would be about halfway through most consoles' lifespans. And along with the release of the previously mentioned 4K consoles, now is a better time than ever for Nintendo to come out with their own 4K counterpart. Especially since even some of Nintendo's own games, such as Xenoblade Chronicles DE or Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, must be heavily downscaled or have moments of frame drops in order to be played. Nintendo probably wants to have a console that's easier to work with. Basically, I believe the Switch Pro rumors, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now, what does Nintendo have for E3? That's a bit more difficult of a question, because Nintendo is the king of surprising us with new announcements while also never mentioning old announcements. There's a lot in store. Let's get the obvious ones out of the way. Nintendo announced Metroid Prime 4 back at E3 2017. The announcement's almost as old as the Switch itself. And then in 2019, the game restarted development under Retro Studios, who developed the original Metroid Prime trilogy years ago. The game's only two years old technically by this point. So while they should hopefully have something to show off, I don't expect us to be able to play the actual game for a while. Bayonetta 3 is another one without any content at all. At the Game Awards 2017, all we saw was Bayonetta's boots fall to the floor and the number 3. In almost four freaking years. Bayonetta 3 has no excuse. I finished Bayonetta 2 at the beginning of quarantine, and now I need my fix. I'm losing it! <sighs> okay, let's, let's talk about another one. Nintendo also announced Breath of the Wild 2 at E3 2019, but all we got was a cool teaser trailer. Still more than we got for Bayonetta 3. I really wish Nintendo would drop this announcement habit. Now, what do I predict or at least hope is announced at E3? Just a few things. But The Prime Trilogy remade, both Smash DLC fighters, some Splatoon 3 info, something Zelda related, so they actually talk about Zelda's 35th anniversary. I'd say Silk Song news, but <laughs> it's never gonna happen. A new Donkey Kong Country game, and hopefully a new Mario game? I'd like to believe I'm not asking for much, but it's Nintendo, so we'll probably just get a lot of anime games again. If rumors are to be believed, Nintendo has a lot in store for the future. Hopefully we start getting details on the Switch Pro, some updates on the announcements Nintendo haven't mentioned in years, and just some good old-fashioned Nintendo content. There's a reason I love this company despite some of the stuff they do. They always keep us on our toes. But for now, we must wait. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe, because it would really help me out, and pop in some of my streams, but they're pretty random when they happen, so be prepared. I'm a Pyrenee.